guys, I'm Lauren Vitali, and today I have partnered up with ConAgra once again, and I'm sure you already know about ConAgra. They've got a lot of great products like Hunt, Alexia Foods, and Ready Whip, and they really do make food and eating and entertaining at home so much better. They've got some great products, and together we partnered up, and I am going to share with you a delicious lemon butter roasted chicken with some roasted potatoes perfect for Valentine's Day. Don't bother yourself with the long lines at the restaurant, the loud music where you can't even hear your date. Stay in, put on the comfiest outfit you own and make a delicious meal because let's face it, I've been saying this for five years here in Learning Kitchen, nothing says I love you more than when you cook from the heart for somebody you love. So I figure Valentine's Day, I'm gonna share some great recipes with you and this is phenomenal and it takes like half hour to put together and it's a really great meal. It's super easy, super delicious, it's really affordable as well. So if you don't wanna make it just for the two of you, make it like I'm making it right now for four people and it's still really budget friendly. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You're gonna need some chicken thighs, and these are bone in and skin on that I've trimmed. You'll need some chicken stock, white wine. I've got some fresh lemon juice, rosemary, garlic, butter, fresh chopped parsley. Here I've got some seasoned salt and freshly ground black pepper. And you're also gonna need some vegetable oil. And then I'll show you in a little bit what we're gonna do for the potatoes. First thing you wanna do is get your oven preheated to 400 and take your two oven racks, place one at the very bottom and the other one in the center. That's all ready. And you also wanna make this chicken dish in a pan that can go straight from the stove top to the oven. You want an oven proof pan. Ideally, you'd use a cast iron. I don't have a cast iron pan that's big enough to hold all the chicken in one single layer. Uh, otherwise, I would've used a, a cast iron, but this works really well for me, so that's what I'm gonna use. I've got my big skillet here with high sides with some vegetable oil coming to temperature over about medium high heat. And now I'm getting ready to season this. You can use, of course, just salt and pepper. I'm using seasoned salt because it's just a little extra added flavor, and who doesn't want a little extra added flavor? and make sure that you season your chicken really well on both sides because that makes a big difference. And if you are using um, chicken, like in, my, in this case chicken thighs with the skin on, make sure you also trim the skin because sometimes there's just so much of it, it's unnecessary and I always just cut the sides off because I want one thin layer of skin on the very top because that's what's gonna get all crispy and crunchy and delicious, everything else, I mean, it wouldn't make a difference. I just want the very top to be, to tear, you know, for the skin to be crispy. That's about all my seasoned salt. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. I have a lot of chicken here. I have seven pieces of chicken. The recipe calls for about eight, depending on the size. You want about two pounds of chicken, and these were quite big, so seven will do for me. Now what you want to do is skin side down. These need to cook for about three minutes on each side, starting with the skin side down or until develop really good, deep down golden color and the skin gets really nice and crispy. That's what you are looking for. You want that sound. When you want to crisp something up, that's the sound that you need. Move that around. You can use tongs, of course. And it's important that you use a pan that's big enough to hold everything without overcrowding it. Otherwise, the chicken isn't going to cook properly. It's just going to steam. And I don't want steam. I want crispiness. Three minutes on each side. Remove it to a clean plate, and then we'll proceed. Look how gorgeous this chicken is. I mean, beautiful. It smells fantastic. It's perfectly seared on both sides. Just, I'm so excited for dinner. You have no idea. I'm getting this out. I'm gonna set this aside. Now this, of course, is not cooked yet. And, oops, can I get this one out? Yes, this is not cooked yet. We are gonna make a quick sauce. Now you can turn this down, because this was really on high heat, because I wanted to get that beautiful color. You don't need all this fat in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to completely get rid of it, because I want to saute my garlic in the butter, because that's gonna become a part of the dish. We're only using two tablespoons of butter. We're not gonna use a whole steak, but that butter will like infuse throughout the sauce and it make it really lovely and delicious and just almost like a piccata, scallopine, almost like a, a buttery sauce like that, but just a lot easier because once you combine everything, you just throw it in the oven and it cooks by itself with absolutely no help from you, no attention. So that to me is like music to my ears. 
My butter is pretty much melted. I'm going to add my garlic. I'm adding about four cloves because this is going to add amazing flavor. Give that a good stir. Cook that for about a minute. Add the wine. I'm going to use, I always use like a Pinot Grigio when I cook. When, I, when a recipe calls for white wine, because it's not sweet. If I were to use a Moscato or even a Riesling, it'd be adding a little too much sweetness, which I don't particularly love. Unless I'm going for something sweet, which most of the time I'm not. I'm going for something a little more dry. I want that to reduce for about 30 seconds. In the meantime, all I'm going to do is mix together my chicken stock, lemon juice, fresh rosemary. Fresh rosemary. I'm not going to add any additional salt because the chicken is really well seasoned and if you're using store-bought chicken stock, it's a little salty. You should always buy like a low sodium stock, but it does have a little bit of salt in there and I don't find that I need any additional salt, but if you do, then you know you can add some more. Okay, my wine is looking good. I'm going to add my stock mixture right in. This is so easy. You don't need to bring anything up to a boil, nothing. I'm going to actually turn the heat off. Put my chicken back in, make sure you put it skin side up because that's going to crisp up in the oven. And get it all in there, nestle that in those beautiful juices. Now I'm going to pop this into the oven on the center rack. Leave the bottom rack empty because we're going to put our potatoes in there. I'm going to pop this in there and I'm going to work on the potatoes, throw those in there as well so that they can cook at the same time so dinner can be done at the same time. For the potatoes, now this could not be any easier. I'm using the Alexia Smart Classic Tri Roasted, Tri Cut Roasted Potatoes with Sea Salt. You don't need to do anything to these. These are going to cook absolutely perfectly. They have nothing in here except for just a few very basic, like all natural ingredients. All of Alexia like side dishes are all made with really great all natural ingredients. They make a great accompaniment to any, any dish. So it's just why I really like them. I'm going to use half a bag because that I find is a great is a great amount for four people. Put them on a baking sheet. This is good. Maybe a few more because I like potatoes and leftovers make for a great hash. Now, these are going to go alongside your chicken in the oven on the bottom rack. The chicken needs about 30 minutes to cook. The potatoes will cook perfectly alongside for 30 minutes. I just put my chicken in a second ago. So I'm going to put these in there and then in 10 minutes I'm going to take them out and add some rosemary. But I'll show you when we get there. So put these at the bottom of the rack, on the bottom rack of the oven. Leave them in there for 10 minutes and then we'll take them out. We'll judge them up a little bit and then we'll pop them back in. My potatoes have been in the oven for 10 minutes and look, look at the color on these already. It's amazing. This is when I like to put a little bit of fresh rosemary on them because I feel like they kind of, it, it adheres to the potatoes a little bit better. That's why I like to keep them in there for 10 minutes and then hit them with that rosemary and they just smell fantastic. They are, look at this color. They're developing great color, they're developing great color already. And now all I'm going to do is pop this back into the oven. The potatoes need another 20 minutes. The chicken needs another 20 minutes because all in total, you want the chicken and the potatoes to be in the oven for 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. Usually 30 minutes is at the right mark. And then all you want to do is just give this a toss every 10 minutes. So do it in another 10 minutes and then another 10 minutes and they'll be done because you want to make sure that they're all kind of getting that beautiful, like deep golden brown color all over. Pop these back in. Leave them in there for 20 minutes along with the chicken and then we're that much closer to dinner time, which as we know is the best time of the day. My chicken was in the oven for 30 minutes. My potatoes were in the oven for about 30 minutes, giving them a toss every 10 minutes. They look fantastic. I've been snacking on them. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I've been snacking on them. I want to add a little bit of freshness to my chicken with some fresh parsley. This just kind of finishes the whole thing off and look how beautiful that is. Just Look at that beautiful skin on the chicken. It's got great color. The sauce is really deep and luxurious looking. I am just so excited. I don't know who wouldn't be thrilled to have dinner in my house tonight because this is just dynamite. Get some of that in there and on my plate. And then I just want to have, be careful because your pan will be hot at this point. The handle will be hot, so just spoon some of that deliciousness. Oh, look at that. 
Look how beautiful. That garlic has gotten really sweet. The sauce is just so like luxurious looking. I love it. I could take a bath in there and I'd be happy. Probably wouldn't feel that good or smell that good, but. Mm. Okay, let's get some potatoes on the plate. Look at the color of these. We didn't do a thing to them. I just put a little bit of rosemary because I particularly like rosemary and potatoes and I think they go really, really well with the chicken since the chicken has some rosemary in it. Look at that. Dinner is served. So easy, so simple, and you can make things even easier. Click on the link in the description box. It will take you to Instacart where you can buy all of the ingredients for this recipe at a click of a button. They will be delivered to your door in about two hours where you can make dinner in a snap and enjoy it with the one you love. How simple and easy is that? And if you recreate this for date night or for Valentine's Day or for a special night in general. Make sure you just send me a picture on social media. You know I love seeing your recreations and hashtag Valentine's Day in so that I can see your recreation. Let's get a bite of this, shall we? I mean, it's just beautiful. The chicken is just phenomenal. Let me give this a little bite. Look at that, just kind of falls apart at that point. Look at that. Mm. Take that sauce. You'll love it. You, I know what that sauce tastes like. You know when you go to fancy restaurants and they charge you an arm and a leg for that like buttery sauce that they put on your steaks and your chicken? This is it. And it was like, took us two seconds to put together. The oven did all the work and it is fantastic. You can achieve all that great flavor that you get from a restaurant meal in your very own kitchen. If you're anything like me, you prefer that so you don't have to go out in the cold because it's quite cold out. Get another bite. Mm. Just love it. Potatoes are crispy. They come perfectly seasoned. I don't have to do a thing to them. Mm. Try it. Date night in has never been easier. Go to LauraInTheKitchen.com to get the written recipe. I hope that you enjoy these as much as I do. I'll see you next time. Bye.